Hey, it's Dan from Mr. Pie's World. It's been a minute since my last video and I wanted to take a moment to say thank you to everybody that watched the video, hit the like button, left comments, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. It means the world to me that you're taking some time out of your busy schedule to watch the content that I'm creating. So thank you so much for that. This video, I'm working with um, some materials that I don't normally work with, uh, mainly wood and old brittle wood. Normally I'm working with uh, plastics, 3D printing, uh, doing some electronics with LEDs that sort of thing. Uh, but for this video, um, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone and full disclosure, I'm not a woodworker. And so you're probably going to see some things in this video that uh, if you are a woodworker, you would do differently. Um, please drop me a comment and let me know. I do these videos uh, for you guys, but also for myself to learn. And so I'm always open to hearing how other people would do things. A little bit of a backstory on this video. Um, about four years ago, the barn at my wife's family farm was demolished. It had stood for over a hundred years, but it was no longer safe to go into. Um, and prior to it being demolished, we were allowed to go and grab a few small things from the barn. This is a barn that my wife grew up uh, playing in and around at the family farm, her grandparents' farm. And uh, so everybody in the family got to take something to remember their time at the farm by. And my wife grabbed this. Uh, this is one of the old storm windows from the barn. Uh, and it's about a hundred, maybe a little bit older than a hundred years old. It's uh, It's been in many a storm and winter here in Alberta. Uh, and as you can see, it's quite dirty and in pretty rough shape. Um, this is what I'm going to be working on in this video. My plan is to take this window, clean it up, restore it, fix what's wrong with it, and turn it into a picture frame for my wife's birthday. Um, so again, it's not something that I would normally do. I'm not a woodworker, uh, but that's the plan is to turn this into a picture frame. And hopefully at the end of the video, I have something to give to my wife for her birthday. Uh, and hopefully it's this, it's uh, one of a kind. There aren't any more windows left from that barn and I can't go back and get more. So fingers crossed, this is gonna work out. Uh, either way, it's gonna be entertaining and I hope you'll stick with me for the build. Let's get to the Maker Cave. And we're back in the Maker Cave. And what I've noticed is that this frame being so old, is starting to come apart. So you can see that the wood moves really easily and we have to address that before I can put pictures in this. So normally what I'd wanna do in this situation is pull the wood apart, clean it up some more, glue it back together. But because of the age of the wood and how brittle it is, I'm worried that if I tried to do that, I'd just end up wrecking this and I don't have another one. So we're gonna go with a different route. My plan is to clamp all four corners with these corner clamps to keep them 90 degrees and then to install some of these flat corner braces, like this one right here. There are two inch corner braces on each of the corners and I'm hoping that that, with the glass and a proper backing, will secure this enough so that it'll be stable and square and uh, we won't have to worry about the picture frame coming apart. All right, got them all in without splitting any wood. Now we just gotta get the clamps off. Oh yeah, way more sturdy. The next thing I need to figure out is the backing for this, the backboard. And I don't have anything here that's big enough to use, um, but I've got this foam board stuff here and I think um, what I can do with it I'll kind of trace this out is uh, I think I can cut out a piece here um, like so 
and then layer that with another piece that goes down and over and that'll leave me just two small squares here to deal with which I think I can figure out um, so that's going to be the next step is to cut this and try to figure out a way to put it together I don't know maybe with uh, clear gorilla tape or something like that all right it's uh it's by no means perfect but i think it'll work i've got some uh, black cardstock here i think i can cover it up with make it look a little nicer but uh i'm gonna call that good for right now all right i've laid out the fasteners i kind of eyeballed them i didn't really measure them there's four on each side i'm gonna mark them drill them and install them So the frame is pretty much ready to go now it's time to turn our attention to the glass this glass is old and as you can see it is also really dirty so we're gonna have to wash this uh, and what makes this difficult is this glass is really brittle so we're gonna have to be careful with it unfortunately two of the panes of glass were broken and so they're not going to be salvageable um, but I have a plan for how to replace them Whatever this is, it doesn't seem to want to come off. We might have to soak these overnight and see if it'll come off then. All right, well, those two original panels soak in some vinegar, which will hopefully strip that hard water stains and whatnot off of them. Now we're going to turn our attention to one of the replacement panes of glass. Uh, what I did is I just went to the dollar store and bought a couple of cheap frames i think these were about three bucks and uh all i really want out of them is the glass so the rest of it i'll keep i can always find something to use those for um, but i'm gonna pull the glass out of one of these i'm gonna clean it up and we're gonna etch uh saying into it um, and it'll go in one of the bottom corners of the window frame all right so this is the design that i'm gonna put on the stencil which we're eventually gonna etch on the glass now we're gonna cut it on the Cricut. So I've already set my base material to vinyl. We're just going to load it in. And we're going to hit the go button. All right, so my paint of glass is ready to go for the etching. We're gonna use this um, armor etch. This stuff is, uh, it's pretty nasty stuff. So you'll notice I've gloved up and I've, uh, I'm also wearing eye protection. You don't wanna get this stuff on you. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply the cream over top of our stencil for about three minutes. Then we'll take it to the sink and we will wash it off. So let's get started. So I haven't done this very much. This is only the third time I've done glass etching. I'm told the trick is to continually move the cream up and down, side to side, um, for the full three minutes. Alright, let's take it over to the sink and wash this off and see how this looks. Alright, so we've dried off the stencil. There's no more etching cream on it, so it's safe to handle without gloves and to take safety glasses off. Now we just got to peel off the uh, stencil and the tape, clean it up, and see what it looks like. hopefully without breaking it.
All right, the moment of truth. Let's see what it looks like. All right, now that looks real good. I'm really happy with that. So the two original panels have been soaking in vinegar for quite a while, and we're going to take a look at them. Hopefully they look better. Uh, I want to keep them if I can and use them in this window frame. I just feel like having some of the original glass would just complete the look. So we're going to take a look at how they look, and uh, hopefully we can use them. So it looks like it's still got that uh, weathering on it, it's a bit pitted here and there. Um, I'm going to hit it up with a little bit of glass cleaner and see if I can clean that up a little bit better. And I think either way I'm still going to use it because um, like I said I want, I want these original panels in there if possible. Um, I may choose to take them out at a later date but for now I'm going to clean them up as best I can and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, it's finally time to put the glass in. I've cleaned it as best I can, and uh, we'll load up some pictures and see what this thing looks like. Alright, let's see what it looks like. I absolutely love how this barn window turned out. I love that you can see the rich, beautiful colors from the original barn window after it was cleaned up. Uh, and that uh, it's sturdy again. It's going to last a long time. I think my wife is really going to enjoy this when she opens it up on her birthday. Um, if anything, I'm not happy about with it. Uh, I, I need to get those two panes of glass cleaned up a little bit more. The original two panes, figure out how to uh, clean that hard water or whatever it is that's on it, a hundred years worth of weathering and whatnot. Uh, and also the picture that I put in the frame with the etching doesn't really show off the etching that I did. So I'm hoping when we do our family portraits and put them in here that uh, that etching will show up a little bit better. Overall though, for somebody who doesn't work with wood, I'm really impressed with how it turned out. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you're still watching at this point, uh, thanks for sticking with me this far. I'll see you next time. Cheers.